everybody welcome back to another video on the long dark so this video uh what i've done i've gone and looted coastal highway this is my private save this is the garage i've set up in and uh what i've done i've looted everything uh, in the coastal town site. Wait, I missed two things. I rooted everything in the coastal town site. And this cabin's down that way. And all in the back. And brought it here to the garage. So I'm going to show it off. Because this is on the stalker preset. Except I modified it so there's just a bit more loot. And that is it. That's all I did to the preset. I think I turned the loot up like one notch. So let's go in. We're going to start with the firewood. This is just the crap I've dropped. No. It's a decent amount. I'll keep the fire going for a while. Uh, there's nothing in the fridge. Just a bunch of clothes. I don't wear any of these. And here are the clothes I actually wear. Except the gloves. When I'm going out, we got thick wool sweaters, t shirts, pea coats, fashion parkas, cargo shorts, and jeans. Cargo shorts, fucking hell. Nothing here. Here's my charcoal collection. There's a bunch of newsprint, bedroll I found, and two books, uh, four sewing kits flashlight, uh, pry bar, two things, a lantern, fuel, two can openers, a hatchet, and a fuck ton of flares. And there's just gloves. Here are all my socks. More clothes. Tinder plugs, a, ru a ruined whetstone I have to bring back to the ruined shed. Matches, medical supplies. <coughs> Wilderness kitchen, already done researched. Uh, three new storm lanterns, a couple gallons of water. I think in metric, each one of these are one liter. Yeah, one liter bottles. So that's. Damn, I wish I made it all early so I could just multiply 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. That's 12 liters of water. Quality tools, a torch, three arrows I brought with me bunch of uh, soda and food all nicely organized mind you yep. soda cans in the front big cans in the back salty crackers all right cups of tea and shit down here there's boxes of tea uh, beef jerky granola bars all that all that good stuff and uh, yeah I'll show you my inventory what I have oh yes I found a chow cane sweater this this beast this is really rare you have no idea how rare it is the warmest sweater around I might unplug because it's like two it's two parts to ignore it. uh here's my inventory uh I should probably drop this accelerant because I don't need four of them uh, yeah, here's the fire. It's a whole bunch of matches I should drop, huh? I don't need that many matches. I'm probably not going to start that many fires while I'm here. Medical. Clothing I'm wearing currently. Food. Working, uh, good on food. Uh, this shit. Two pry bars. Because I just found another one. So now I have four pry bars. Uh, a bunch more flares. Gun. Probably going to actually find another one. And then some crafting supplies. So yeah, that's basically everything. <laughs> uh, this is just to go to show you how much loot you can get from Coastal Highway. Even when you're on hard difficulties. So, you know. Let's go to Coastal Highway. It's an easy map, you can never really get lost, and 
it's pretty pretty great you just do whatever you want I could run a whole trading emporium here no seriously I could there are other people here and yes I spent like an hour and a half organizing all of this putting everything in perfect rows like tinder plugs but that's besides the point it's just show and I still have to transport everything back to mystery lake I have to transport it across the transition zone across the entire region and up to the far corner before I can be done with coastal highway and then I have to go to Pleasant Valley and uh, what's the desolation point? But you know, I'll be surviving for a decent while, I'd say. By the way, this is day 26. 26, yep. Yes, sirree. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this short little video. Also, tip for newbies you can open the cash register. Quick tip. Yeah, that's just everything. It's a pretty decent amount of crap, actually. Took two hours to organize it, so hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye.